If you found your sleep option missing from the start menu, don't worry. This video will show you three ways to have it back. Alright, now here we have fix one. This is probably the easiest way to make your sleep option show up. First, you need to open the control panel. On your keyboard, press the Windows logo key and R at the same time to invoke the run dialog box. Then type in control panel and click OK. In the upper right corner, expand view by and click category. Then go to system and security. Click power options. From the left pane, click choose what the power buttons do. Then click change settings that are currently unavailable. Under shutdown settings, make sure you check the slip option. On completion, click save changes. So that's all for fix one. Now go on to check whether your sleep option reappears on the power menu. Now let's go to fix two, which is to enable sleep mode via local group policy editor. You should know that this fix can only apply to Windows 10 Pro and Windows 10 Enterprise. So if you're not using these two versions, you cannot open the local group policy editor on your PC. In this case, you should simply go to fix three if fix one hasn't solved your problem. First, on your keyboard, press the Windows logo key and R at the same time to invoke the run dialog box. Then type in the following command and click OK. Once you've opened the Group Policy Editor, navigate to the path showing the subtitle. However, you should exercise caution with this step because some settings in the Local Group Policy Editor can have a large impact on your computer. So just make sure you do not change any settings that you are not familiar with. Now on the right panel, locate show slip in the power options menu and double click it. In the pop-up window, select either not configured or enabled. Actually, both of them will do the trick, so it's up to you. Once complete, click Apply and OK to save the changes. And that's all for fix 2. If neither of the previous two fixes work for you, you should try updating your display drivers, also known as video card drivers, graphics card drivers, etc. There are mainly two options for you to update a display driver. One is to update it from the Windows Device Manager. Here's how to do it. On your keyboard, press the Windows logo key and R at the same time to invoke the run dialog box. Then type in the following command and click OK. In the device manager window, locate display adapters and double click it. Right click the device whose driver you want to check and select update driver. Choose the first option. If you have more than one graphics car, you can use the same actions to update all the other drivers if you want. If you are told by Windows that your driver is up to date when trying to perform an update in the device manager, or if you don't have the time, skills, and patience to update your drivers manually from your manufacturer's website, you can automatically update your drivers with DriverEasy. First, you should download and install DriverEasy from DriverEasy.com or you can simply Google DriverEasy and visit its official website. DriverEasy will automatically recognize your system and find the correct drivers for it. You don't need to know exactly what system your computer is running, you don't need to risk downloading the wrong driver, and you don't need to worry about making a mistake when installing. You can update the driver automatically with either the free or the pro version of DriverEasy, but with the pro, it takes just two clicks. Run DriverEasy and click the Scan Now button. Then DriverEasy will scan your computer and detect any problem drivers. Now click the Update button next to the display drivers you want to update and wait for the process to complete. You may be prompted for permission to create a restore point or a reboot. Also know that the automatic download and installation feature is only provided by the Pro version, so if you want to use the free version, you need to update each of the driver manually.